Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a second video on the new Creator Companion update. So in this update, they actually created something called templates. You can find these by going over to your settings and hitting this template section. Now templates basically show up when you click create new object. You see right up here, there'll be templates, and these will be standard templates for avatars, world, and you, uh, worlds uh, for Udon Sharp. Now you can actually create your own template. And the amazing thing about templates is that when you open them up, they will automatically import anything you select within that template. So say you have a toggle manager that you want in every single project you always make. Whenever you start a template that you made with that toggle manager in there, it will come with it. So to get this started, we're going to head over to settings and we're going to go to templates right here under files and folders. And we're going to open this up. Now with our new thing over here open, we're actually going to click back and go to this and we're going to steal a VRC template. So for this example, I'm going to use avatar. So I'm going to just press control C or alternatively go to copy and I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to hit paste. Now we'll paste over the template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly open this up. I'm going to go into this package.json. I'm going to make sure I double click on it and I'm going to edit it with notepad. And I'm just going to put a dot mine here and the display name will be a um, my custom template. And we'll just continue that and we're going to click save now and we are going to exit out of this. So now that that is edited, what we're going to do is we are going to click here and we are going to copy this path and we're basically going to open this like it's a normal avatar. So we're going to click here. We're going to do add existing project. We are going to put it back up here in the search bar. We're going to select this select folder. And as you can see, it says avatar unknown. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this project, right? And we are going to wait for it to load up. So give me a second. Okay, and now that we are in our brand new project here, what we can do is we can import whatever we want. So I actually have some things that for my template already. So I've got Poyomi, which is the shader I always use. I have Toggle Assistant, which is an extremely useful toggle manager for avatars. And I have Controller Editor, which is a script that extremely uh, simplifies making animations and such. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import each of these one by one into my assets bin here. And after that one's imported, we're going to go back and make sure we import the next. And we're going to do controller editor, import, wait for it to go through. And then we're also going to do the last one, which is Poi Pro. We're going to import this. Okay, and now that we have our three things here imported, what we're going to do is we're just going to head over here, hit save. Uh, actually, we don't even need to save this. We can actually just close this. And now if we go back to our creator companion and we hit create new project, you can now see our custom. And this is my custom template. Now, when we select this and we hit create project, we're going to name this template test. And we're going to hit create project right here. And it's going to create our project. Uh, it says do not close VCC. While well, this is in process, this is because it's making our template. It's going to set it up with uh, the VR chat stuff. So now we have this window and we're going to select what we want. So AV3 emulator, of course, gesture manager. We're going to add that. And that should be everything we want for this package. And now after that's done, we're going to hit open project. And now it's going to start to create it. Now that we are inside of the avatar package, you can now see that we have our three uh, packages from earlier imported automatically. As you saw, I did not import these myself, which is very cool. And they are all completely working. As I see, I have Dread Tools up here. I have Poi over here. And I have the Toggle Assistant right here. And these are all, and the VRChat SDK also still works. As you can see, if I pull up the window, and it will pop up over here. Take a little bit of time to load though. And as you can see, it is fully working. Now, 
you may encounter a bug where there will be something in the console with a red error and you'll be locked out it'll say like refresh sdk uh, sdk up here and you won't be able to use it what you need to do is just simply close your project and reopen it and it should refresh it if not you may have uh, conflicting packages you may need to delete but now as you can see this is our template and i have everything imported that i will need to make an avatar so this is just a quick look at the template feature from vrchat it's an extremely useful and time-saving uh, implementation because instead of having to drag each three of them in every single time I do a project, you just simply click the template button and you get an already made one. Anyways, this has been Pinky. I've been going over this template feature. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, goodbye.